Hello, this is Dear Damson, and today I am going to do a small watercolor painting of a boat. But before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you get notifications for future videos. And if you like this one, don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thanks! Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is on my tiny little area that I have blocked out for painting, which is 4x4 four four inches. Um, the whole background around the boat, I made it wet and it wasn't soaking wet, it was slightly wet. And I am going to start working on the water and um, it's going to be just the first, first layer of water. So I am not going to do a lot of details, pretty much just giving a little bit of a color. And when I paint water, I try to move my brush left to right. So I'm moving my brush strokes horizontal, kind of to create more the illusion of that surface, um, which is water to part of the water, a little bit more, more greenish uh, blue. And um, so I'm adding just the green right now, and later on I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. So I'm using yellow and green and you don't have to use exact colors. Um, not all my sets have the same color of blue. So anything that it's a little bit lighter, um, not ultramarine, but anything a little bit lighter. So if you want to create um, a lighter blue, um, mix it up with um, with white and you can add a little bit of yellow or green in it just to soften it but experiment and see uh, color experimenting is kind of fun so I am just adding a little bit more blue on the top so it doesn't look so um, swampy so I really want to create water not a, a green area so just the green is going to be more like um, a suggestion that I'm concentrating on the bright, bright green. And I'm going to start with the boat on the inside and letting that outside area that I just painted to have time to dry a little bit. So I'm starting with the benches. And I'm making them a little bit darker than what I'm gonna do for the rest of the boat. Um, but this time I'm not making my surface wet. I'm using wet on dry, which means my surface is dry and my brush is the only thing that is wet and loaded with a little bit of paint. And um, I'm starting to work on the boat and I am not waiting enough for the area on the outside to be dry so I have to leave a tiny bit of a white between my background and the boat so those colors won't start mixing so I'm kind of rushing it and that's just for the video for the sake of the video but um, you can give a little more time for your paint to dry and you're gonna see how right here I am scooping out some of the paint that start mixing with my orange but um, it's not that big of a deal you can still fix something when it starts moving in a direction you're not satisfied um, I'm making the edge of the boat on the top the rim a little bit darker orange so I'm mixing um, red and yellow to create that orange and also I'm adding a little bit of brown to create more like the shadowy parts so this will be the first layer of the boat so I'm just kind of going where the shadow parts of the boat will be like under the benches and the one side of the boat so, and again, that is just a part of the layers, the first layer of me painting this little, little guy. And the back of the boat has a little more um, light 
so I'm leaving more lighter orangey yellow. Um, you can use your cadmium yellow with your red just to make a beautiful orange. Um, but, or you can just use any orange you have. It really will not matter. You can make your boat uh, more reddish. Um, it's really more about the technique and having fun with your paint. So my blue is continuing to mix right there in that area so I'm gonna ignore it for a little bit and then I'm gonna sweep it out so I'm not rushing it but it's going to happen. So drying my brush and I guess adding a little more of a dry or drier paint, not a lot of water on that. Uh, my background is ready to get a little touch-ups here and there and when you're painting something that's sitting on the water make sure you add that shadow around it to kind of plant it into the water um, and here I'm adding a tiny bit of very very light transparent orange around so it has the illusion of the reflection of the boat um, and you can see right away how that sunk the boat and make it look, look more like it's in the water. But also that darker area right on the edge of where the boat is sitting in the water, it's full. So if you don't have that, your object, doesn't matter if it's a boat or anything that's floating in water, it's going to seem like it's floating versus sinked in the water. So. Um, and add, when you're painting water, add the little bills closer to you and less details a little bit further away from the closest point that whoever is looking at the painting will be. Um, and that will give you more of that illusion of depth. Um, I'm just continuing to add a little bit more um, darkness on the rim just to kind of confine that area and make it look more like a boat and um, you saw me swooping that blue color that was mixing so it was a little bit too wet so I, I left it alone for a little bit until it dried because even if there is tiny bit of blue in my in my orange it will be not a big problem um, and you're gonna see how that worked <laughs> and my far water is going to get less of a detail it's still going to get some tiny tiny little uh, waves of movement of the water but it's not gonna be as many as the water that it's close to us using um, blue and brown I'm going to add a little details and little kind of touches on places of I want them to stand out and because the boat has a bottom and that we can see because our view is a little bit from the top um, I added a little bit more heaviness or a darker color in the middle kind of inside of the boat so it makes almost like um, an edge there or two pieces being merged together so that shadow helps but pretty much that's it you can push it a little bit further or leave it as um, simple as it is but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give us thumbs up and I will see you next week. Thanks!